What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're going to show you all around Virgin Gorda. Let's do it. Watch me Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you Okay, so first stop, the baths. So you got to pay about $3. Let's see? get in and then you walk down so let's do it this is just a look at what the hike looks like it's actually pretty easy this is probably one of the roughest patches you'll see it's not too bad but nice little cactuses mixed in with some shrubs and some roosters it's kind of working my way down there the hike takes around 10 to 15 minutes depending on how fast you're moving. All right, here we are. Look how beautiful it is here. Look at that beautiful water. Swimming and enjoying themselves. Okay, so after a nice swim right there, I'm now going to walk towards the caves. So let's do that. Look at this. Now we're headed into the caves. Where the real fun begins.
Here we are now at Spring Bay. Spring Bay Beach. Oh, this is nice. A lot calmer, less people. I was told that uh, the best time to go to the baths is before 9 or after 4. Because cruise ship tourists go there anytime in between. Wow. This is the real baths. For sure. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is amazing. This is where you want to go. Avoid those crowds. Sure, there's a lot of people here too, but not as much as the other place. A little bit bigger. Okay, got a whole other side here. It really is bass over here. No doubt about that. Exactly what I would call it. Oh! Turn off the camera to get around those rocks. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go again. Oh. This is a beach. Empty beach. See you in the beaches. So here we are now at Savannah Bay. And that's Pond Bay off in the distance, but look at all those people in, enjoying that crystal clear blue water there. Wow, spectacular, huh? So we're here at one of my favorite beaches on the whole island. This here is Savannah Bay. And you can see why. I mean, look how amazing this place is. So here we have the Little Bay North-South Lookout. And up on that hill there is Gorda Peak, Virgin Gorda Peak. You can actually go up there if you want. Um, I'm not gonna be going up there though. Because right now I'm gonna try and get into the Billionaire's Playground right there and go out to that island called Saba Rock. We'll see if I can get out there, but yeah. There's the uh, lookout at the top of that hill. Similar views can be had right here, except up there you're gonna get 360 degrees. 
Okay, so we're going to go out to Salva Rock here on one of these ferries. How much is it? Oh, it's free. Okay. Where am I from? Arizona. U.S. Huh? First time. Be the eye. And I've not yet been to Sava Rock yet, but the lady. Saba Rock. <laughs> so, you can see there's like a top deck as well. But look at the color of this water here. out here is that a helicopter pad I don't think so could be So here's the top deck out here at Saba Rock. It's about one in the afternoon right now. Okay, so I'm gonna catch the ferry and I'm headed over to Bitter End. Let's head down there. Sorry about that, brother. All right, bitter end. This is the bitter end here. Actually stay here till late. I think the last ferry is like 11 or something, but don't quote me on that. But it leaves every hour on the hour except for 1 p.m. There's no ferry. Oh man, so this is called the quarter deck. I think they got a bar around here. Here's some of the rooms, but they're all sold out. So good luck trying to get one of those. Okay, 
Hola. Hola. Such friendly people out here, I tell you. It's a friendly place. Prerequisite. You must be a friendly person to come out here. Check out these views going down here. Turtle Bay House. So this here is called Nail Bay. I think these are ruins. An old sugar mill or sugar factory. Sugar in all of the Caribbean was a big thing. So what is this? This is the curing house. Here's the boiling house. Sugar at one point supposedly was as valuable as oil is today. You got some papayas. Wow. Is this an Airbnb down here, or what's going on down here? I think so. I don't think you can go in there. All right, so here we are at Laverick Bay. I mean, <laughs> this is actually true north. There's so many different roundabout ways around here. Like Dundalk Ferry Port. That's a uh, northeast part. This is like true north. Got the restaurant at Lavericks. Beautiful. We got pussers, pussers. This little spot over here. Hello, kitty. What's he up to? Got like a little bar over there. We're over on the other side where the hotel is. You can tell some raging parties have gone on down here. Wow, what a cool spot this is, huh? So here we have the Gorda Peak National Park. All right, so here we have the Gorda Peak National Park. It's 800 meters to the top from up here. I don't think I'm gonna do it right now, but I'll walk up some of it and just show you what this hike would entail, but this is to the summit of the highest peak on Virgin Gorda. Oh wow, oh my gosh. Well, two things not going in my favor right now is I'm wearing flip-flops. 
and I have no water. So, I don't know if I'll make it to the top. I would have to really want it. And I don't think I want it that much. So when it comes to this trail, I don't mind walking on mud like this. It's the, uh, rocks that I don't like. But, it's a long way. Okay, so I've got to a lookout platform. I think I'll just wrap it up here and just do this. Hmm. These little crabs are way up here. I thought those were only at the coast. So let's see, where's this lookout platform? Well, I got pretty close, but the thing is I don't have any water and I don't want to risk any problems because I'm out here by myself. The sun is pretty hot up here. I would say I made it about three-fourths of the way, but I can already feel my body kind of craving or needing water. So, we'll just uh, head back down. Sorry, guys. Going down is a bit faster than going up, but uh, I will say that now that I'm back at my car almost, uh, do come with friends or somebody. Don't just do this alone because it's a rough trail. She got injured. There's no cell phone service or anything up here. Um, also, make sure you bring shoes, not sandals like me. I got Ula Kai on. They're durable and they're working, but not the best for this kind of train. Let me just show you. Yeah, it's been like that. Not all the way, but quite a bit. And uh, definitely stay hydrated. Hydrate before you get up here and then bring some water. So. And here's a lookout point right next to the summit. Looks like I was actually really close. There's the actual summit. I, mu I don't know how close I was, but uh, like I said, it wasn't worth it. I still don't have any water, so I'm feeling a little bit uh, in need of water, but I wanted to stop here. I'm still doing all right. But yeah, importance of hydration.